Breaking news, Nigerians. Confusion as court suddenly revises judgment, declares Labour Party winner. <laughs> Wait till they happen, Nigerians, they ask. Well, let's hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a significant turn of events, the Court of Appeal in Abuja has delivered a verdict that overturns the previous ruling of the National and State Houses of Assembly Election Tribunal in Asaba, the original judgment dated July 24, 2023, had declared Didi Elumelu, a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP, as a victor in the fiercely contested election for the Anocha Ushumule federal constituency of Delta State. The latest development, as reported by Niger News, occurred through two judgments handed down by the appeal courts on September 14, 2023. These rulings unequivocally named Ngozi Okole a candidate representing the Labour Party as a legitimate winner of the election held on February 25th, earlier that year. The basis for this reversal was the Court of Appeals' assumption that the election petition tribunal had held in invalidating Okole's election. Furthermore, the Court of Appeal proceeded to dismiss the petition initiated by Ilumelu before the aforementioned tribunal offensively, effectively nullifying the earlier judgment that favored him. A pivotal argument that swung the Court of Appeal in favor of the Labour Party's candidate was presented by Mahmoud Magaji San, the legal representative of the Labour Party. Magaji contended that Contrary to the tribunal's initial findings, Okole had been duly nominated and sponsored by his party. Furthermore, he had held to the constitutional requirement by resigning from his position as a, a senior special assistant SSC to the Delta State Government. This verdict represents a significant legal Turn around in the Anocha Ushumuli, the federal constituency election saga, Ngozi Okole, now officially declared as the authentic winner, stands to take his rightful place in the Federal House of Representatives. The decision by the Court of Appeal reaffirms the importance of due process and hindrance to constitutional requirements in the electoral process ensuring that the will of the people is accurately reflected in the outcomes of such crucial automatic exercise. <laughs> they say, well, I'll be like basical. So, guys, when I don't hear the matter, so, in a significant turn of events, the Court of Appeal in Abuja has delivered a verdict that overturns the previous ruling of the Nation, national and the state houses of Assembly Election Tribunal in Asaba. The original judgment dated July 24, 2023, had declared Ndidi Elumelu, a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP, as a victor in the freshly contested election for Anocha Oshumuli Federal Constituency of Delta State. The latest development, as reported by the Niger News, occurred through two judgments handed down by the Appeal Court on September 14, 2023. And these rulings unequivocally named Ngozi Okole, a candidate representing the Labour Party, as a legitimate winner of the election held on February 25th, earlier that year. That is this very year. The basis for this reversal was the Court of Appeals' assumption that the election petitions tribunal had held in validating Okole's election. Furthermore, the Court of Appeal proceeded to dismiss the petition 
initiated by Ilumelu before the aforementioned tribunal, effectively nullifying the earlier judgment that favored him. A pivotal arrangement or argument that swayed the Court of Appeal in favor of the Labour Party's candidate was presented by Mahmoud Magaji San, the legal representative of the Labour Party. Magaji contended that, contrary to the tribunal's initial findings, Ngozi Okole had been duly nominated and sponsored by his party. Furthermore, he had added to the constitutional requirement by resigning from his position as a senior special assistant, SSC, to the Delta state government. This verdict represents a significant legal turnaround in the Anyocha Ushumili federal constituency election saga. So Ngozi Okole now officially declared as the authentic winner stands to take his rightful place in the Federal House of Representatives. The decision by the Court of Appeal reaffirms the importance of due process and hindrance to constitutional requirements in the electoral process, ensuring that the will of the people is accurately reflected in the outcome of such crucial democratic exercise. When I see, say, our judiciary system now then be our problem for this country. Tomorrow then go say this one. Next tomorrow then go say the other one. They are just confusing Nigeria's confusion. Well, congratulations to Ngozi Okole. Congratulations to Labour Party. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.